Edmondson County High School Basketball. Only on EdmondsonVoice.com. And now, here's Jamie and Double D. Good evening, Wildcat fans. We're here at Edmondson County High School. I'm Jamie Carnes. Alongside me is Double D, Darren Doyle. We're here for another live broadcast on the home for Edmondson County Sports. That's Wildcats Live, presented by Alford's Pharmacy. Tonight, it's the second game of a doubleheader against Allen County here in Wildcat Alley. The Lady Cats took care of business against the Lady Patriots and will advance in the 2A tournament, the championship uh, sectional, however that, uh, how, however you refer to that, but it's the, uh, the 2A tournament playoffs. Uh, early in the season they got that started. This game is no different. It's also a 2A game uh, that will count, uh, uh, or if we win, then we advance on to the next round of that tournament. Bank of Edmonds County counting down to tip off right now. And of course, as we said, the Wildcats take on Allen County tonight. They are coached by Casey Napier, 1-0 on the season. They have a win against the Bluegrass Blazers out of Oakland. That's a Kentucky homeschool team. They won 71-64 in that one. The Cats are coached by Coach Trey Tinsley. Coach Tinsley's in his first season as head coach for the Wildcats. And it's the first game of the season for them as well. They have Allen County tonight. Meet Fort Knox on Friday night. And then on the second, we have that throwback game at Wildcat Hall against Cumberland County. We'll take a commercial break. When we come back, we'll go over our Edmondson Center injury report and discuss the taking care of business list. This is Wildcat Slide presented by Alford's Pharmacy only. Products and with mobile banking with deposit capture, helping our friends has never been easier. Bank of Edmondson County, you're our first priority. A-Plus Family Healthcare provides personalized primary, behavioral, and pediatric care, all right here in Edmondson County. From newborns to golden years, our team provides comprehensive care tailored for your individual needs. Visit us in Brownsville in the Main Street Center and call 270-975-4050 for an appointment today and visit aplushealth.org. A-Plus Family Healthcare, care is what we Alford's Pharmacy brings you the latest technology with Decade. Alford's provides fast, friendly service with the care that you deserve. Whether you need personalized help, a vaccine, or just a simple refill, call 270-597-1044 or visit AlfordsRx.com for more. Save time, save money, it's that simple at Alford's Pharmacy. Welcome back to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. This is the Bank of Edmonds County Countdown to tip off, and uh, all this is presented by Alford's Pharmacy and Drive Through. Tonight's injury report is sponsored by Edmondson Center Healthcare. And with that injury report, welcome back to Wildcat Alley Double D. Thank you, Jamie. I appreciate that. As we said before in the Lady Cats game, uh, my voice is still on the injury report, uh, so it doesn't normally sound like myself. I normally talk like a girl. But uh, tonight, uh, <laughs> thanks to uh, Daddy Satan Bass. <laughs> I can't even sing. So I've got a little sinus trouble tonight, folks. But uh, anyway, um, we do have one uh, Wildcat on the uh, injury list tonight. That is Blaine Dewees. He is still out. Uh, he's probably going to be out for a couple of weeks. So we won't see him here for the first few games. Uh, other than that, everyone else on this Wildcat roster suited up, ready to play for the Wildcats against the Allen County Scottsville Patriots here at Edmondson County High School on their opener. And tonight's first half is brought to you by A-Plus Family Healthcare in Brownsville. We'll take another quick break when we come back. We'll look at starting lineups and the uh, what, what's needed for win tonight, that taking care of business list. It's all to come here on Wildcats Live at EdmondsonVoice.com. For nearly 100 years, Bank of Edmondson County has been a place to find friends helping friends. It's still locally owned and operated with a complete line of deposit and loan products and with mobile banking with deposit capture, helping our friends has never been easier. Bank of Edmondson County, you're our first priority. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. 
A-Plus Family Healthcare provides personalized primary, behavioral, and pediatric care, all right here in Evanston County. From newborns to golden years, our team provides comprehensive care tailored for your individual needs. Visit us in Brownsville in the Main Street Center and call 270-975-4050 for an appointment today and visit aplushealth.org. A-Plus Family Healthcare, care is what Welcome back to the Bank of Edmondson County Countdown to Tip-Off. This is Wildcats Live on EdmondsonMorris.com. It's time once again for the Keys to Victory, and that's brought to you by Keppel Auction Company. Darren, what do the Cats need to do to get the first win of the season tonight? Well, the first thing, obviously, with the first game of the season, home opener, you got a big crowd here tonight. First thing is controlling your emotions. you got to have get the jitters out. It's probably going to take a few minutes to work those out. you got a lot of adrenaline. Everybody's amped up, so that's number one. Uh, but I did talk to Coach Tinsley uh, yesterday, in fact, about this game today. And uh, he's looking for a good battle right here, boxing out. That's the first thing. And it uh, looks to be like, you know, he's going to stick with the fundamentals. Uh, Got to box out first, then go for the rebounds, turnovers. He's looking for 10 turnovers or below tonight. And uh, that, uh, that could be a, 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 a pretty large task. Uh, defense. Uh, Coach Tinsley says he's got a certain number that he likes to keep each opponent, according to the scouting report, according to what the team can do. They're looking to hold Allen County Scottsville at 55 points or below tonight. He feels like if he can feel, and, uh, you put all that together, pour it in a bottle, shake it up, Wildcat win, baby. There you go. Just like that. Tonight's starting lineups are brought to you by Josh Roney State Farm Insurance for Allen County's Patriots. They start at guard, 5'9", junior number one, Chase Ross. At guard, a 6'3", senior number 12, Isaac Garrett. At guard, a 6'0", junior number 14, Robert Robledo. At guard, a 6'2", sophomore number 21, Tyler Turner. And at guard, a 6'0", junior number 24, Jackson Morris. We'll throw it down to Scott Lindsay, our PA man, for those uh, Edmondson County starters shortly. They got the hype video playing here at ECHS here tonight. You know, Jamie, you, we said this during the girls' game. You said we need a hype video. I think people would pay to see just a hype video of you. <laughs> just you. <laughs> they might pay to see how silly it would the look. The Jamie I don't know. Carnes hype video. Folks, if you're, you're watching the game, what do you think about a Jamie Carnes hype video? I know people. We can make this happen. <laughs> yeah, they uh It'd certainly be a, an interesting watch, I'm sure. I'm just saying, man. I think people people would, would watch it. So, Tonight's tip-off brought to you by Evanston County PBA, Kyle White. And uh, cats look like they'll be in their white home uniforms with uh, blue numerals and letters, red trim on those. Patriots are in their royal blue. Road uniforms with white numerals and letters, red trim. Patriots used to be a big foe back in my day, back when we were in District 15. Yep, I remember lots of nights uh, playing Allen County, Barron County as well, Glasgow. The last game I ever played was against Allen County Scottsville right here on this court. Yep, hosted the district tournament that year, 94. Had them uh, first round. Yes. We'll throw it down to Scott Lindsay for Edmondson County starters. And now it's time to reach tonight's starting line at the board, Edmondson County Wildcats. At guard, a 6'3 senior, number zero, Will Alexander. At guard, a 6'3 freshman, number three, Brayden Wright. At forward, a 6'1 sophomore, number one, Tyler Wilson. At forward, a 6'3 senior, number 23, Lane Ashley. And at center, a 6'4 junior, number 24, Joshua Decker. The Wildcats are coached by assistant coaches Jamie Rosado 
Dexter Saucy and Dustin Scott. And the uh, hit coach for your Wildcats, Craig Tinsley. Both teams making their way to the center circle here. Cats and the Patriots. Looks like Decker's going to be jumping it up against. Let's see. That's uh, Garrett, it looks like. Decker looking to get up in the air to get this tip here. And here we go. And Wilson runs it down for the Cats, and that's who's got it right now. He'll bring it across the timeline. Wilson off to Decker, left, left side. Looking, he'll drive the lane. Puts it up. Count, Count it. it. The hoop, the harm, and a chance the old-fashioned. Three-point play, Jamie. Josh Decker wasting no time putting the Cats on the board. For the bucket and a chance for three. Decker with the shot, it's up and in. Make it three to nothing. Lady or Wildcats on top. Decker connects Patriots. connects on that SCRCT free throw. Turner with it cross court to Robledo. Robledo over to Ross. Back around to Turner. Turner on the right side, up high. Robledo around to Morris now. Robledo straight away. Ross with it around to Morris. And the shot comes. Count it. Three by Morris. It goes in. Three to three. Alexander with the basketball for the Cats. Brings it across the timeline. Gets it over in the corner to Decker. He loses it out of bounds. First turnover of the game for the Wildcats. Turner over to Robledo. Back to Turner. Robledo again at the top on the left side. Garrett cross to Ross for three. No good. Rebound Decker. Decker pulls it, gets it to Wright. Wright brings it across the timeline in the corner to Ashley. Ashley to Wright, straight away to Wilson. Great. Down, down low to Alexander, who puts it up and in on the reverse. Five to three in favor of the Cats. That's a great execution there by the Wildcats. Good pass and a good cut. Five three Wildcats. Robledo over to Ross. Robledo gets it back. He launches a three straight away. It's good. Deep three. And a turnover. Robledo with it. Baseline jumper. Left side. No good. And the ball goes out of bounds. I think it was last touched by the Cats. Wright got his hand on that one. Ball comes in. Turner gets it inbound. High to Robledo. Thinks about the three. Doesn't take it. Ross with it now. Back to Robledo, looking, gets it around to Turner, right side. Ross, to Garrett now, or Morris, I'm sorry. Back to Ross, right wing. Morris, Robledo, throws it away. Decker with the basketball for the Cats. He brings it himself, pulls up, three on the way, right wing. It's no good, rebound, pulled by Morris for Allen County. Down the floor to Robledo. Turner, right wing. Robledo out by the center circle, guarded by Wilson. Puts it on the floor. Now inside to Garrett. Turnaround jumper, won't go. Rebound with Alexander, he'll bring it himself. He'll take a three, left wing, no good. Rebound, chased down by Ashley, he'll throw it in. Grabbed by Decker, he Great goes save. to the basket. Puts it Tough up and shot. in for two. Seven, six, Cats in front, 451 remaining in the first quarter. Now, Turner back over to Morris. Morris drives, baseline jumper, up and under goes in. Yeah, a little ball fake there, got Decker up in the air. Right on the right side. 
for the Cats. First quarter action brought to you by Edmondson County Chamber of Commerce. Decker with the ball down low, stripped. Robledo comes up with it. Bounce pass over to Ross in the right corner. Back out to Robledo, right wing. Now around to Morris. Morris straight away. Cats in a, what looks like a kind of loose 2-3 here. It is, yeah, it's a 2-3 zone there. Ross with it. Over to Turner, left wing. Cross to Morris, he'll try three. No good, rebound by Decker. Decker throws it out to Wright. Wright running home side baseline. Great pass, pass by to Wright. Wilson, puts it up and in for two. First bucket by Tyler Wilson, and again, a good pass by Braden Wright, freshman. Now, Morris. Foot out. was on the line if they give him that. Out to, uh, the shot came up from Ross. Ball loose on the floor now. Robledo. 30 second timeout. 9-8. Cats in front by one. 3.32 remaining in this Edmondson County Chamber of Commerce first quarter. 30 second timeout by the Patriots there. And, uh, Pretty fast paced game yep, so far. So far, so good though. Yeah, they're getting up and down the court. And you know, not a lot of uh, not a lot of things we didn't expect to see here early on. Cats seem to be pretty much in control. Good ball movement by the Cats. Yep. Pretty good defense, pretty good blocking out so far. Not really showing a lot of jitters or no, anything no, like that. Some younger pretty... players on the floor though. Yeah. Well, we said this earlier, Braden Wright, he's a freshman starter. I haven't seen that in a while here for the Wildcats. Looks like Turner will inbound. Or I'm sorry, that would be, that's Stamper who's in the game now. Seltzer over to Stamper, three on the way, no good. We've got, to, we've got a whole new crew in here for Allen County. Seltzer off to Stamper. Stamper in the corner to Moore. Moore back out to Seltzer. Wimpy with a shot, goes in for three. 11 and nine. Allen County, Alexander crosses the timeline with it. In the corner to Wilson, left side. Now Ashley with it, drives the lane, puts it up. Count it! The hoop, the harm, and a chance that old fashioned. Three point play, Jamie. No, that's Gravel. I'm sorry. That is Gravel. Yeah, Wyatt Gravel in the game. Yeah, they subbed, uh, subbed, and I didn't see that one. Yeah. Shot goes up. No good, though. Decker with a rebound. He puts it back up. No good. He gets a quick foul call, though, as uh, Tracy gets the rebound for Allen County. So Gravel can't connect on that SCR. TC free throw attempt. Offensive rebound by Decker, but foul results in ball back to the Patriots. 11 all. Allen County with the basketball. Moore off to Stamper. Now Seltzer picked off. Decker gets it. Alexander down the floor to Wilson. Wilson picks it up, gets it to Decker. Free throw line jumper won't go. But Allen County will get the rebound. Stamper down the floor to Moore. Back out to Stamper. Seltzer in the right wing. Stamper with it straight away. Moore. Now Hamby. Back out to Moore. Seltzer with it. Moore. Over to Hamby. Back out to Moore. Passing around the perimeter basically here. Seltzer back with it in the right corner. In the middle to Moore. Left elbow jumper goes. 13 to 11, Allen County. I'll tell you what, Allen County's got some, got some guys that can make some tough shots. And they're uh, they're coming back fairly young. I think they lost a uh, lost a few seniors last year. They lost some people last year. Didn't have a great record. Alexander for three in the right corner, no good. Rebound chased down by Allen County. Moore with it, straight away. Kicks it over to Stamper, three on the right side, it goes. <laughs> 16 to 11, minute 15 left in the first quarter. 
Wilson with it. Up high for Edmondson County. Now right, left wing, looking. Back to Wilson, straight away. Right in the corner to Alexander. Three on the way, left side, no good. Rebound Seltzer for Allen County. Stamper gets it. Down the floor to Wimpy. Puts it up, no good. Rebound Wilson for Edmondson. Wilson's running with it. Right side, right, uh, I'm sorry. Yep, right, back to Wilson. Right, over down to uh, Gravel. He puts it up and in. Nice little shot there by Gravel. He's four points for him. Cut the lead to 16-13 now. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Gravel's a transfer. Is he, is he not? I think he's uh, a yes, I believe he came from uh, Warren East, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Ball comes out. Grable gets his hands on it. Wilson down low, off to right, puts it up and in with a left-handed layup. That's and good. that's a good save there by Wilson as Wright puts in his first bucket. 16 to 15, Allen County up by one. Moore looking, gets it down low, picked, picked off, off by Decker. Again. Decker down to Alexander. Alexander brings it across timeline. Three seconds. He drives. Wrap around pass to Gravel. He puts it up and in. And that ends the first quarter. 17-16. Cats lead it by one. And uh, we'll take a break. We'll have a second quarter action just shortly. You're listening to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. New things are happening with the Edmondson County Chamber of Commerce. With new leadership and new vision, your chamber is working hard to strengthen the business community in Edmondson County. Whether it's bringing you the annual Big Brownsville Bash, joining you for a ribbon cutting, or answering a simple question, our resources are here for you. To find out how your business can join for as little as $75 a year, call 270-597-4715 or visit edmondsonchamber.com. Welcome back to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. Cats lead this one 17 to 16 after one quarter. And uh, so far so good. Uh, Cats got a last second bucket by Gravel there to, to give them the one point lead. It's been back and forth most of the game. Yeah, Wildcats have finished that uh, quarter there on a 6-0 run. And so uh, pretty good composure there. Lane Dewey's checking in with us, said we're uh, signals in and out or we're, we're cutting in and out a little bit somehow, but we uh, hope we aren't uh, causing a problem there, but uh, hopefully we're on to stay. Allen County with the basketball. Moore with it, off to Stamper. Seltzer with it in the right corner. Drives into the lane, kicks it out to Wimpy. Wimpy for three, no good. Oh, missed Rebound everything by Decker. on that one. Alexander down the floor to Wilson. Drives left baseline, and he's, there's a foul called. I think that's on Allen County. Yeah, no shot. They're going to call a foul on the floor. So Doyle's in the game now also for, Allen, or for Edmondson County. I think that's the first time we've seen him. Yep, and we've got an all-new five coming in for Allen County, Jamie. Yep, it's our first five that we're in to start with. So a uh, pretty deep bench over there for the Patriots. They're platooning. Decker gets the pass and tries to go for the shot. I think we have a foul. That'll be on uh, Morris, I believe. Alexander gets it into Decker. Over to Doyle. Now around to Wilson. Wilson brings it up top near the timeline. Doyle with it, left wing. It's about time this team had a Doyle on it. <laughs> yeah. Got to travel, just as you said that. Just as I say that, the Doyle gets a turnover. So I'll, I'll just keep my mouth shut. Hands it off to Ross. Ross left wing, or right wing, I'm sorry. In the corner to Turner. Turner put, drives to the block. Jumper, no good. Rebound. Stripped out of Decker's hands by Ross. Out to Robledo. He puts it on the floor. Shovel pass to Ross. Ross looking. Now to Turner for three. It's good. Second chance points there by the Patriots. 19-17. Allen County in front by two. Wilson off to Alexander. Alexander backs it up near the timeline. Now over to 
Wilson back to Alexander in the middle to Gravel. Spins. Good Puts move. Puts it up. No good. Taps his own rebound. Chases after it. Alexander's able to run it down. He drives into the lane. Tries to shovel, kick the pass to Gravel, but picked off. Morris gives it to Robledo. Now Morris, three on the way. No good. Rebound. That's inadvertent contact there. He was off balance. Garrett tries to grab it, and he ends up falling down. Yeah, Garrett just fell down. He didn't, didn't really have the contact there. I mean, if Garrett had the ball in his hand, I mean, I don't know why they stopped play if that wasn't a walk or something. I'm not sure what they called, but Allen County's got the ball back. Into Morris. He walks. Just looks to me like he got, just lost control of his body. You know? Yeah. Anyway, Allen County gets the ball back. We got a foul on, I think that was on uh, Ashley. Turner will inbound for Allen County, gets it into Robledo. He throws it over to Ross on the left side, puts it on the floor. Turner right side, cross court to Morris. Morris looks, gets it over to Ross in the lane, bounce pass to Garrett, puts it up and in. 21-17, Allen County leads it. Full timeout by Coach Trey Tinsley here in this second quarter of action. And with that, we'll take a, another break. Cats trail Allen County 21 to 17. You're listening to Wildcats Live here in the Great Wolf Funeral Home second quarter on EdmondsonMorris.com. Gravel Funeral Home has been a friend to our community for over 50 years, offering the care and services that families need. They're a full service funeral home that offers cremation and pre-need counseling. Call 270-597-2149 Visit their Facebook page for more and stop by their facility at 537 North Main Street in Brownsville. Gravel Funeral Home, dedicated to those we serve. Welcome back to Wildcats Live, EdmondsonVoice.com. Cats are down to the Patriots right now, 21 to 17. 537 left in this second quarter of action. Second quarter of action is brought to you by Gravel Funeral Home. The first half is sponsored by A Plus Family Healthcare. Five points unanswered by the Patriots as the Wildcats bring it up the court here. Wright with the basketball for Edmondson County gets it over to Alexander on the left side. Alexander looking back to Wright straight away. Now off to Dole, out to Grable in the lane, spinning, puts it up off the glass, won't go. We've got a whistle. That's going to be against Edmondson County. It'll be on Ashley, I think. Yeah, it's two on, on Lane Ashley there. Decker's back into the ball game now for Edmondson County. Dual, Wright, Decker, Alexander, and Gravel in the ball game. Ross off to Robledo. Morris with it over to Turner. He'll try three from the left wing. No good, air ball. And uh, got a held ball call. Garrett and Alexander wrestle for the basketball. Alexander wins, has the basketball in his hand. We got a held ball, so it'll go back to the Cats, looks like. I'm not really sure what we're doing here. He's calling off the press, looks like. Patriots are set up for pressure, looks like, or, or at least we're confused about who had the ball. I'm not sure. Wilson off to right, looking back to Wilson straight away. Right now, the corner to Alexander, deep three on the way, it's good. Yahtzee, Three Will Alexander. Alexander. 21, Alex. 20, Cats down by one. Robledo off to Turner, a pie on the right wing. Brings it straight away, Ross with it now. Turner asks for it back. Robledo right side, looking. Bounce pass over in the corner to Turner. He shoots a three. It's no good. Rebound by well, Morris. Grabs the ball. And it goes out of bounds, I think. Says it's the last touch by Edmondson County. Turner will inbound. Gets it into Morris. Morris into the lane. Pump fakes. Loses the basketball. Pump faking. 
Ball deflected down the floor after the Decker rebound. Alexander with it over to right. Gets it down low to Gravel, kicks it out to Wilson in the corner on the left side, right out to Alexander. Wright will get the ball back after Will hands it to him. Wilson straight away. Wright thinks about the three, doesn't take it inside to Gravel. Gravel tries to get it over to Alexander but can't. Allen County picks it off. Wright taps it out of bounds. Good effort there by the freshman, but it'll go back to the Patriots. Ball comes into Robledo. He'll try three from the left corner. No good. Rebound. Corral. Right, right ends up with it. A little bit of a kick of a rebound. Right puts it up. Then it bounces all around. Won't go in. Decker with the rebound. Puts it up. Down low to Gravel. He'll put it back up. How about that? Crashing the offensive board. Like the effort there. Cats yeah. back up by one. 22-21. 3.23 left to go in this half of the ball game in the Gravel Funeral Home second quarter. Now eight points for Gravel. Now Garrett, turnaround jumper, air ball there. Everything. Will Alexander with the rebound, looking, gets it to Decker straight away, hands it back to Alexander. He'll give it to Wright, right over to Wilson. Wilson looking, right in the middle to Decker. Alexander for three, right side, won't go. Rebound by Garrett, Robledo, and the ball's bounced off an Evanston County player. Wilson ends up with it. And we have a foul, I think. Not really sure who that's on. Yeah, that's going to be on this uh, Garrett, I think. Yeah. Or no, wait a minute, Turner. And now a whole new five come in the ball game for Allen County. Glad to see them again. <laughs> I'd say it's impressive to have a, a bench that deep where you can just bring in five. I well, always out five. had kind of the, uh, uh, the idea that Allen County was a little bit bigger school than us. Something like that. But uh, apparently they're in 2A like we are now. So uh, still think they've got a few more kids. Gravel, right elbow out to Wilson. He tries the three. It's good. Yahtzee. 24 or 25, I'm sorry, 21. Cats in on top. Now, now we've got eight unanswered by the Wildcats. Stamper. Across to Wimpy. Wimpy tries a three. No good. Alexander with the rebound. Right. Right side. Drives to the basket. Puts it up nice and in off shot. the glass. Well, that's good body control there as well. Yeah. And Allen County wants to talk it over for a minute. So yes, sir. that means we'll take a break too. 201 left in this Gravel Field Home second quarter. 27-21. Cats in front. You're listening to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. Gravel Funeral Home has been a friend to our community for over 50 years, offering the care and services that families need. They're a full service funeral home that offers cremation and pre-need counseling. Call 270-597-2149, visit their Facebook page for more, and stop by their facility at 537 North Main Street in Brownsville. Gravel Funeral Home, dedicated to those we serve. Glad to have everybody along with us tonight for this second game of the doubleheader against Allen County Scottsville here in Wildcat Alley. This game, uh, the winner of this game advances to the next round of the 2A championship. It's uh, even earlier than a Christmas tournament, but uh, that will that will move on the next couple of weeks. I think a lot of that's held at Warren East. Yeah, not sure if we'll be able to cover those games. We'll just have to kind of see how it falls in the schedule. Allen County with it. Seltzer out to Moore now. Moore will back up. Stamper with the basketball. Passes it down into the lane. Tracy with it. Now Moore. Moore looking. Puts That's it a up. Tough and in. shot. 27 23. Cats still in front. Wilson with the basketball now for Edmondson County. Off to right, up high on the right wing, looking. Ball fake out to Wilson. Allen County in the zone. Alexander down low to, to Decker, puts it up, no good. Wright gets a rebound, kicks it down low to Gravel. Reverse won't go. And now Tracy with the rebound for Allen County. Moore with it, brings it across the timeline. Seltzer drives, 
Takes a shot, no good. Rebound pulled by Grable. We got a foul on Tracy, it looks like. That's a good, tough rebound there by Grable. 27-23, Cats still in the lead. Right with the basketball for Edmondson County. Kicks it off to Grable. Decker now with it on the right side. Wilson, bounce pass in to Grable. Pass. Wilson gets it back and almost picked off there. Alexander straight away. Now over in the corner to right. He tries a three left side, no good. Rims out, goes to Tracy. Down the floor, Stamper to Seltzer. Now Moore back to Seltzer. Stamper with it, left wing. Gets into the lane, kicks it out to Seltzer. We're on the right side, he'll back it back up. Now Stamper again, straight away. Wimpy in the right corner. He'll bring it out. Straight away now, pass it over to Moore. Moore to Stamper, three on the way, no good. And that's the end of the second quarter as Will Alexander gets the rebound. 27-23 at the half. Stick around, we're gonna have some halftime stats and uh, talk about second half adjustments and all that good stuff in the minutes to come. You're listening to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. It's time for the Precision Strip Halftime Show on your home for Edmondson County High School Sports, Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. Take control of your career at Precision Strip. Precision Strip in Bowling Green has many opportunities and is looking for team-oriented individuals who place high value on quality, service, and safety. With Precision Strip, you'll enjoy great pay and benefits that include a generous 401k and a workplace that values you. A high school diploma or GED is required. Learn more and apply online at precision-strip.com. That's precision-strip.com. For over 60 years, Grable Funeral Home has been a friend to our community, offering the services and care that you need. They're a full-service funeral home, offering cremation and pre-need counseling. Call 270-597-2149. Visit their Facebook page for more. Stop by their facility at 537 North Main Street in Brownsville. Grable Funeral Home, dedicated to those we serve. If you already have internet through SCRTC, there's a pretty good chance your speed just went up, maybe even paying less. And if you don't, check on fiber optic with SCRTC in your area because 500 meg is now only 70 bucks. That's 500 down and upload. And if you want more speed, SCRTC got it, up to 5 gig of it. Make the switch right now at SCRTC.com and we'll do the install free. This won't last forever. With unmatched customer support, SCRTC, your best and last internet provider. It's time for the Precision Strip Halftime Show on your home for Edmondson County High School Sports, Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. Take control of your career at Precision Strip. Precision Strip in Bowling Green has many opportunities and is looking for team-oriented individuals who place high value on quality, service, and safety. With Precision Strip, you'll enjoy great pay and benefits that include a generous 401k and a workplace that values you. A high school diploma or GED is required. Learn more and apply online at precision-strip.com. That's precision-strip.com. It's not something we like to talk about. It makes lots of folks uncomfortable. But the truth is, it's part of life. Folks have many needs when they lose a loved one, and one of those is a friend. Roy Grable and the staff at Grable Funeral Home have been friends of this community for a long time. Let Grable Funeral Home be a friend to you with pre-need counseling or other services. No, no one likes to talk about it, but at Grable Funeral Home, you can talk it over with a friend. When it comes to auctions and realty, you can't beat the team of Alan Keppel and Shauna Grable from Keller Williams. 
With over 20 years of combined experience, they have you covered in all things real estate. Whether you're buying or selling homes, farms, commercial property, or if you need auction services, Alan and Shauna can both handle your needs for the price of one. Call 270-791-2288 or 270-246-1329. Alan Keppel and Shauna Grable, two great realtors that make one great team. If you already have internet through SCRTC, there's a pretty good chance your speed just went up, maybe even paying less. And if you don't, check on fiber optic with SCRTC in your area because 500 meg is now only 70 bucks. That's 500 down and upload. And if you want more speed, SCRTC got it, up to 5 gig of it. Make the switch right now at SCRTC.com and we'll do the install free. This won't last forever. With unmatched customer support, SCRTC, your best and last internet provider. Patton Funeral Home is a family-operated business that has proudly served Edmondson, Barron, and the surrounding counties since 1969. In our close-knit community, we consider those we serve our neighbors, family, and friends. We're committed to providing affordable excellence to all that place their trust in us. Patton Funeral Home, serving you in three locations, Brownsville, Park City, and now Cave City. Visit PattonFuneralHome.com, continuing a heritage of caring. A-plus Kid Care brings hometown health care to our students here in Edmondson County. Edmondson County students are now able to receive individualized face-to-face -face care with our providers through new telehealth technology. Every student has access to many services including strep, flu, and COVID testing. Parents, we encourage you to be part of your child's visit and you're welcome to attend in person or remotely by video chat. A-plus Family Health Care, care is what we Wildcats Live on the Edmondson Voice is presented by Alfred's Pharmacy and drive Through, located in the Main Street Center in Brownsville. Alfred's Pharmacy provides super fast service, whether it's in the drive through inside their retail location, curbside service, or even free delivery. Call 270-597-1044 to find out how they can save you time and money. Save time, save money. It's that simple at Alfred's Pharmacy. Welcome back to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. This is the Halftime Show, and the Halftime Show is brought to you, as always, by Precision Strip, providing careers for our area. Halftime. The Cats lead the Patriots of Allen County, Scottsville, 27-23. We'll look back at halftime stats and a recap of things so far. Here's Double D. Thank you, Jamie. Uh, Wyatt Gravel leads the Wildcats here at halftime with eight points. He's got a couple of rebounds. Uh, we've got three players with five points. That's Will Alexander. Uh, he also has six rebounds. Josh Decker also with six rebounds. And Tyler Wilson, he has a rebound. And then we have Braden Wright who adds four points and two rebounds. The Wildcats are shooting 46% from the field here in this first half of play on 12 of 26 shots. Allen County is shooting 42% on 10 of 24 total rebounds uh, Allen County seven uh, Edmondson County uh, we've got 17 so uh, slight advantage uh, pretty good advantage actually to the Wildcats on the rebounding battle turnovers not terrible but they're a little bit above where coach Tinsley would like them to be here at the half remember he's looking to hold this team he wants his team to uh, commit 10 turnovers or less Wildcats are sitting right now at seven Allen County setting at five. Allen County has not attempted a free throw yet in this ball game. Edmondson County has only attempted two. They are one of two uh, on the night. So pretty good little run by Edmondson County there in that second quarter. Uh, they were just up by one uh, at the beginning of the first, or at the end of the first, I'm sorry. And then if you remember, uh, Allen County came out on a 6-0 run, but then Edmondson County answered that with an eight-point run themselves. So they outscored the Patriots 10 to seven there in that second, and they lead 27-23 here at the half. Our student athlete of the week is sponsored by County Clerk Kevin Alexander. Congratulations to Shelby Souders. Had a nice game, the first uh, game of the night in this doubleheader. Uh, she's a freshman lady cat. And the daughter of Derek and Brittany Souders has a 4.0 grade point average. So congratulations to Shelby. You are the Wildcats Live Student Athlete of the Week. We'll come back in just a few moments and uh, talk about some second-half adjustments if any are needed for the Cats. 
You're listening to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. When it comes to auctions and realty, you can't beat the team of Alan Keppel and Shauna Grable from Keller Williams. With over 20 years of combined experience, they have you covered in all things real estate. Whether you're buying or selling homes, farms, commercial property, or if you need auction services, Alan and Shauna can both handle your needs for the price of one. Call 270-791-2288 or 270-246-1329. Alan Keppel and Shauna Grable, two great realtors that make one great team. Wildcats Live on the Edmondson Voice is presented by Alfred's Pharmacy and drive Through, located in the Main Street Center in Brownsville. Alfred's Pharmacy provides super fast service, whether it's in the drive through inside their retail location, curbside service, or even free delivery. Call 270-597-1044 to find out how they can save you time and money. Save time, save money, it's that simple at Alfred's Pharmacy. Welcome back to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. Cats lead this one right now 27-23 at the half. And second half adjustments, as always, are brought to you by CNC Firearms in Brownsville. How about the second half, Darren? What do the Cats need to do to make sure they stay ahead of the Patriots? Well, I think they've missed some bunny shots right underneath the basket. They're crashing the boards pretty hard, and that's good. Uh, the things that Coach Tinsley wanted them to do, uh, boxing out was one of the first ones. They're doing a pretty good job of that. Turnovers, it's okay. They could do a little bit better at that. Um, defense, they're wanting to hold Allen County at 55 points or below. They're there. Uh, but I really think if they just, if they can execute some of those shots right around the basket, um, I think, uh, you know, they're going to pull out of here. I said this with the, with the Lady Cats, and uh, it didn't go exactly like we thought it would. Uh, with a little, a little hairy down the stretch. But I really do think the Cats can uh, win by double digits tonight, uh, 10 or 12 uh, points if they do these things. And uh, like I said, just missing a few bunny baskets, you know, right there around the rim, uh, I think, you know, that, that would probably put them up, you know, 8 or 10 right now. So that's the only thing I can really uh, point out, a uh, four-point lead here at the half, doing some pretty good stuff, Jamie. All set for the start of the third quarter. That's brought to you by Alfred's Pharmacy and Drive through here in the Patton Pure Home second half. Stacey Raymer checked in with us a few moments ago and uh, verified that, yes, Allen County is a bigger school population wise than us. They've got about 889 enrolled. We've got about 592. Allen County with a basketball here. Turner with it. Out to Robledo. He'll take a three straight away. No good. Rebound. Gosh, that's got to be a foul, yep. man. I think so. Ashley. That'll be on Ross. Ashley goes to the ground pretty hard there. Lands on top of the basketball. Not a lot of fouls called so far. In no, the there hasn't been. That's for sure. Decker with the basketball. Brings it across the timeline. He's guarded by Garrett. Ball comes loose. Wilson picks it up, though. And he will drive into the lane. Step back. Jumper. Oh, good. that's a good move by Wilson. That's impressive. Nice body control there. And uh, Garrett just throws, or Robledo throws it out of bounds there. It'll come back to the Cats. Right inbounds to Wilson. Wilson brings it across the timeline. Wilson. Oh. And he, uh, he takes, a st takes steps there when he picks up his dribble and his forward momentum carried him. Uh, more than he wanted to, and uh, he's trying to get a pass off, I think, to right there in the corner. That didn't work out. Allen County basketball. 7.05 remaining in the third quarter. Allen County ball, Turner, and right to Robledo, but that thing bounces right out of his hands and goes up into the blue seats. A little but a bit of butterfingers there. Right. Gets it across the timeline. Gets it off to Alexander. Alexander up high. He tries to throw it to Decker. Decker can't connect. Allen County with the basketball. Robledo over to Ross. Ross looking straight away to Morris. He shoots a three. No good. And that Garrett's, is an air ball. Garrett's going to try to chase it down, but it goes out of bounds. I think the uh, pep section noticed that that was an air ball as well. Know, I believe they did. It's in, seems like I heard him mention that. Here comes the second platoon for Allen County. Nothing like a good pep section to remind the other team 
their follies. Yes, exactly what they're doing wrong. <laughs> right with the basketball. Off to Decker, left wing. And Ashley over to Wilson. Alexander with a three. It's good. Yahtzee. Over on the left wing. That's Alexander's second three-pointer of the night. 32-23 now, Wildcats. Well, Morris or Moore over to Stamper. Wimpy in the left corner. Back out to Stamper. Selsor. Off to Moore. Right side. Wimpy. Selser back over to Moore on the right wing. Throwing it around the perimeter here, basically waiting for something to open up. Stamper tries the three, no good. And uh, Alexander comes down with the rebound. I think we've got a foul on Allen County, maybe on Tracy. Two fouls on the team and uh, two fouls on Tracy. Right with the basketball for Edmondson County. He brings it across the timeline. Wilson, high on the left wing, and looks like we got steps. And that is turnover number nine for the Wildcats. Seltzer gets the ball inbounding for Moore. Moore gets it back, a pound on the right side in the corner to Stamper. They throw it down low, almost picked off by the Cats, but uh, Wimpy will try a three. It's an air ball. It goes out of bounds. And uh, Wimpy has actually been pretty wimpy from the three-point line so far tonight. Not uh, not been very strong with when those three-pointers. When I hear that name, it makes me think of Popeye. You want to buy Popeye. a hamburger? I want a hamburger. <laughs> but you want, a, you want a hamburger today, yes. but you'll pay him Tuesday. Yes, correct. Gladly. Alexander down low to Ashley. Ashley spins, gets into the lane, goes up with a shot. Nice off the glass shot. and in. All right off the glass there. Ashley's first bucket of the game. And the Cats extend their lead. 34-23, five minutes to go in the third quarter. And he just walked. and <laughs> He just picked up his pivot foot, but no call. Wimpy out to Seltzer. Moore in the corner to Stamper. Stamper cross court to Wimpy. Now back to Moore. Straight away, Stamper in the corner to Seltzer. He puts it on the floor, gets into the lane, nowhere to go. Back out to Moore. He drives into the lane, kicks it out to Wimpy. Corner for three, left side, no good. Rebound Decker. Shovel pass to Alexander, here come the Cats. Alexander straight away. Step back, gets it to right, right long three on the way from the left side, no good. Rebound by Seltzer for Allen County. In a hurry now, getting it straight away. Gets over to Wimpy, Moore. Wimpy in the corner again, Moore. Cats in a zone, 2-3 here. Passing around the perimeter. Moore, cross over to Stamper, right side. Now in the corner to Seltzer. Now around to, Wimp, to Wimpy, he shoots a three, no good. Rebound pulled by Alexander. Alexander pulls up, three on the way, straight away, no good. Rebound by Wright. He goes up, puts it up, and it rolls in for him. Six points now for Wright. And a full time out by the Allen County Patriots. <clears throat> and with that, we will also take a break. 36-23, Cats lead this one, 339 remaining in the third quarter. You're listening to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. Wildcats Live on the Edmondson Voice is presented by Alfred's Pharmacy and Drive-Thru, located in the Main Street Center in Brownsville. Alfred's Pharmacy provides super fast service, whether it's in the drive-thru, inside their retail location, curbside service, or even free delivery. Call 270-597-1044 to find out how they can save you time and money. Save time, save money, it's that simple at Alfred's Pharmacy. Glad to have you all along with us tonight on the broadcast. This is Wildcats Live. We're in Wildcat Alley as the Edmondson County Wildcats take on Allen County's Patriots. 36-23, that's the Wildcat lead here. 3.39 remaining in the third quarter. That third quarter is brought to you by Alfred's Pharmacy and drive through here in the Patton Funeral Home second half. Wright, Alexander, Decker, Gravel, and Ashley on the floor for the Cats. They're back in a zone as Allen County brings the ball across midcourt. 
It's the first platoon back in now. Robledo in the right corner. Down low to Morris. Morris, shovel pass to Turner. Turner backs it up. Robledo right side, three on the way. No good, barely draws iron. Decker with a rebound. Down the floor to Alexander. Gets around Robledo. In the lane. Great pass. Puts it up to Ashley and he puts it in with a reverse. That's great execution there by the Cats. The Patriots are 0 for 7 from the three-point line in this second half. We'll uh, take some more of those if we can get them. Put, uh, Morris gets in the lane and puts one up and gets it over the front of the rim for two. Of course, you know, just as I say that, they score a bucket. Well, that wasn't a three down. No, that's true. But they were 0 for 7 from the field, all of them. Oh, well, players. my bad. Ashley down low again. He puts it up nice and in off the glass. body control by Lane Ashley. That's a good job. Cats up 15. Turner with the basketball out to Ross. Ross over to Robledo. In the corner to Moore for three. No good. Rebound Decker. Decker over to Alexander. Alexander up high on the right wing. Right now straight away. Back over to Alexander. Ashley right side three. No good. Rebound by Allen County. Down the floor for Robledo. Shovel pass to Morris, Morris back out to Robledo. Turner, round to Ross. Ross gets into the lane, puts it up. Charge, no and basket. That charge was managed, uh, I think it was Decker, right? Took that charge? I believe so, actually. Or Ashley. There was a couple of them, actually, that, that took it at the same time. I don't know, uh, actually, I don't want to credit them both, but. Uh, Alexander into right, right. Gets it across the timeline, off to Decker. Decker up on the left wing. He gets it into the lane. Jumper from mm. just beyond the right, or left elbow, and uh, no they basket. call him for a charge, I think. Kind of got his shoulder into somebody yeah. there, and the, the kid went reeling, and Decker made that shot, too, if he hadn't called a foul. <laughs> It's a good-looking shot, too. I don't assume they didn't count that, no, right? No, they did not count the basket. 40 to 25. Sometimes they'll – I believe they count some, sometimes when you uh, – with an offensive foul, but – Usually it's when someone else commits the foul after right. the shot is up. Ross over to Robledo. He'll try a three from the right side. It's good. 40-28. 1.27 to go in the third quarter. Alexander with the ball. He'll bring it across the half court for Edmondson County. Left side, gets it into Gravel, back out to Alexander. He'll try a three That's deep it. in the left side. No good. Rebound run down by Ashley. Alexander gets it, goes baseline, feeds Gravel down low. Gravel yeah, everybody's spins, getting shoots, can't do anything with it. Oh, my save gosh. Those steps <laughs> after he's hammered, bloodied, and beaten to a pulp. Bludgeoned. You forgot bludgeoned. Oh, well, yeah, I forgot that one. That's a good one. And that's the 11th turnover for the Wildcats. Mm. Allen County with the basketball. Gets it over into their side of the court. Robledo right side three up. No good. Rebound by Ashley. He'll kick it out to Alexander. Alexander brings it across. Now passes to Decker straight away. Alexander gets it back on the left side. He'll drive. Kicks it to Ashley on the baseline. Decker now at the free throw line. And we've got a whistle. Not sure who this one's on. Um, um, it's a double foul. So one of those fouls will be assessed to Gravel. So, yeah, Gravel, and I didn't hear the Allen County player that got rung up, but apparently both of them got a foul. Decker for three straight away. No good. Rebound pulled. By Moore, down the floor to Robledo. He brings it across half court in the corner to Turner. Turner back out to Robledo, left wing. Turner in the corner. One dribble goes baseline, Walk. and he yep. walks with it before Decker hits the ground trying to take that charge. Alexander comes into the game for Decker. Wilson will inbound. Alexander gets it. 20 seconds remain in this third quarter. 40-28, Cats lead it right now. Alexander with the basketball. Gets across the timeline. Cleans the bottoms of his shoes off. Eight seconds. Calling everybody off. 
Three goes up, and they'll put him at the line. Four point eight seconds remain in the quarter. Two shots, the referee says. Yeah, he's he's was on the line inside the three point mark there. Four point eight seconds remain in this third quarter. Shots up and it's in. And it's another SCRTC free throw for the Wildcats. Yeah, made the connection on that one. Nine points now for Alexander. He also has 10 rebounds on the night. Second shot's up, it's in. 42-28, Cats in front, three seconds. They gotta do something pretty quick. Yeah, you don't see the clock. And before he gets a shot off, it's done. 42-28 is the score at the after the end of three, Cats in front. You're listening to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. Scott Skaggs Photography is your locally owned and operated full service photography studio. Whether it's weddings, babies, families, senior pics, or sports, Scott Skaggs Photo can handle it all. They also give back to our local schools, sports team, and community. Did you know they can also restore old photos? They can have your old and vintage pictures looking new again. Visit scottskaggsphoto.com or call 270-792-2598 today. Welcome back to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. Cats lead this one after three quarters, 42 to 28. And if you can hear the background, you'll hear Alabama. You know what that means. It's the fourth quarter here in Wildcat Alley. Play me some mountain music, Jamie. That's what they're doing, Darren. Win Caudell checks in with us, says he's enjoying the game. Yeah, we appreciate that win. By the way, we appreciate everybody checking in on our Facebook and YouTube feed. One of the things that we're bringing to you this year is simultaneous live streams on both YouTube and Facebook Live. And, of course, after the game, those will be available also on EdmondsonBoys.com. Wynn's got us pulled up on his big screen there, so that's always good. Oh, yeah. We're getting some comments from people. They like the small scoreboard in the center of the screen. People like that. And uh, we've got a new system this year. Hopefully it'll be a little bit more reliable than what we had last year. Cats get the ball in. Decker with it now. Double teamed on the baseline. Alexander with the ball now. He's double teamed right has to run to it, and we've got a timeout. Edmondson County, they want to talk about the defense. Okay. That's a full timeout, so uh, <laughs> I guess we'll take another break. There. Why not, Jamie? So with that, not a lot of play goes by, about eight seconds, and we'll uh, let them talk it over. This is Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. Patton Funeral Home is a family-operated business that has proudly served Edmondson, Barron, and the surrounding counties since 1969. In our close-knit community, we consider those we serve our neighbors, family, and friends. We're committed to providing affordable excellence to all that place their trust in us. Patton Funeral Home, serving you in three locations, Brownsville, Park City, and now Cave City. Visit PattonFuneralHome.com, continuing a heritage of caring. Let's try this again. We're back with Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. 7.52 remaining in the fourth quarter. You know, I want to I send a shout out here to, uh, to our Evanston County coaching staff, the way they're dressed tonight. <laughs> They've all got on shirts and ties. You don't see that very yep, often in true. high school basketball. Everybody's going for the casual look. And uh, Peyton Talley checked in, had a question about one of the ties. We can confirm that's a red tie. Yeah, ain't, no, ain't nobody wearing orange ties over here. <laughs> That's right. We wouldn't let them in here with an orange tie. <laughs> and Alexander inbounds to Decker. Gotta Can't make connect, shot, but Ashley gets the rebound. Alexander gets it back. Now over to Wilson. Wilson to Alexander. And Will's getting pummeled out there. Yep. He's hanging on to his jersey and everything else. Now Decker in the lane, puts it up, won't go. And Allen County with the rebound. Decker struggling a little bit from the field here. Yep. 
Ross with the baseline jumper. We got a foul called at the other end on Decker. Yeah, Josh tried to take the charge. Didn't hardly have his feet set. Ross will be at the line shooting two. First one is a miss. That's the first free throw attempt of the game for the Patriots. And Evans County has only attempted four themselves. Second one's good. Decker inbounds to Alexander, now cross court to Wilson. Full court pressure by the Patriots. And Will throws it long, right, can't catch up with it. Allen kind of gets the ball. Three on the way from Ross, no good. Rebound by Alexander, he's gonna keep it, bring it up the floor. Crosses the timeline, passes off to Decker, looks, goes baseline, puts it up and in. There's a shot by Decker, good shot too. Strong to the basket. And Ross kicks kick it over to Stamper, Stamper with the three, no good. Rebound by Ashley, kicks it out to Wilson. Here come the Cats. Wilson to Decker. Baseline jumper goes in. Back-to-back -back buckets now for Decker. Cats lead 46 to 29. Now more from for well, three. Tell you what, no they good. keep cranking them threes. They like them. Well, I don't know why. They've only hit one of them in the second half. And right inside the Decker, he puts it up, no good. Rebound, loose on the floor. And I think we're gonna call a hell ball. Allen County is one for 13 from behind the line in the second half. Well, I suggest they keep shooting. Right all there. night long. All night. All night. All night. Ross out to Moore, Moore at the left corner, kicks it out to Turner, Turner runs it down, now Stamper in the right corner, cross court to Ross, he puts it on the floor, gets in the lane, free throw line jumper, won't go. And that's an air ball. It did move the net a little bit, does that count? It does count as an air ball, has to hit rim. Now right goes left baseline, Tough shot. puts it up, won't go for him, and it's knocked out of bounds. Goes to Allen County, looks like. I think Ashley managed to hit that as it was coming down and knocked it out of bounds. Grable back in the lineup now for Edmondson County. Ashley will have a seat for a few minutes. 5.42 remaining in this fourth quarter. Ross with the basketball for Allen County. Gets it in to Morris. Morris over to Moore. Baseline, nowhere to go. We'll throw it out to Selsor. And Ross gets in the lane, puts it up, and they'll call a foul. Boy, he got bailed out with one, I believe. So two shots here. First one is no good. We'll ask for another one like that one. Why not? From Allen County. I know a lot of people are having to, uh, were, or earlier were having to you know, wrestle with the decision, listen, watch, listen or watch us, watch the Kentucky game. I know they were playing tonight. Yeah. But uh, I managed to leave the house without DVR in that thing, so that was great. <laughs> Never even thought about it, but anyway. 46-29, cats, these cats lead the Patriots here in Wildcat Alley. Five minutes, 24 seconds left to go in the contest. And if the Wildcats keep the wit their wits about them, looks like they will advance to the next round of the 2A playoffs. And Wright overthrows it just a little bit. Turnover Edmondson County may not hang on like that if they let uh, Allen County back in. Got another full timeout, so we'll take another break. 46-30, Cats in front of the Patriots. You're listening to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. Scott Skaggs Photography is your locally owned and operated full-service photography studio. Whether it's weddings, babies, families, senior pics, or sports, Scott Skaggs Photo can handle it all. They also give back to our local schools, sports team, and community. Did you know they can also restore old photos? 
they can have your old and vintage pictures looking new again. Visit scottskaggsphoto.com or call 270-792-2598 today. Welcome back, everybody, to Wildcats Live. We're here in Wildcat Alley. The Cats are taking on the Patriots right now and currently have a 16-point lead over Allen County Scottsville. Now, Jamie, if you'll remember at halftime, I said if the Cats can execute some of these shots a little bit better, I'm going to say it's a double-digit win. Yep. Well, so they're on track minutes, for that Five right minutes now. and 18 seconds away from that. Yep. So That's quite a bit of ball to play still yet, but we'll see. I mean, you could be very well on the money. But you are right. There's quite a bit of ball. Seltzer with it over to Turner. Seltzer back in the right corner. Bounce pass into Morris. Out to Moore for three. No good. Rebound pulled by, well, Decker chases it. Tries to run it down. Not sure who touched that last, but I think it's going to be Decker. Mm. Allen County now one for 14 from the three-point line in the second half. Maybe they'll set a record. The amount of three-pointers missed at Edmondson County High School <laughs> in one half. Ross with it straight away, shading the right wing. Now over to Turner. Turner straight away up near the center circle. Cats in a zone. And that's probably where they should stay until Allen County proves they can make those shots from outside. That's true. Now Ross from three-point range. No good from the corner left side. We got a whistle. It's going to be a push off. And I believe that's on. That'll be on Seltzer. Yeah, he wasn't too bubbly on the Seltzer there. Alexander down the floor to Wright. Wright puts it on the floor. Now down low, tries to get it to Ashley right underneath the bucket. Yeah, that's but a good idea. Goes out of bounds. Alexander will inbound for the Cats. Now down low, over to Wright in the right corner. Wilson now straight away. Alexander. Tries to throw it behind his head. Wilson picks it up after the ball's batted down. Ashley on the baseline goes up with it and puts it in. Ashley with his eighth point of the ball game, and now the Cats lead by 18, four minutes to play. Turner with it straight away. Now over to Seltzer. Turner to Moore. Turner gets it back. They're going to throw it around the perimeter here. Now Seltzer back to Ross. Seltzer on the left corner. Dribbles back to Ross. Ross drives into the lane, puts it up. Oh. Blocked by Gravel, but they're going to call a foul on that one. Not sure about that one. But yeah, it looked pretty clean right here. Gravel had good foot position, good body control. First shot up by Ross, and he's at the line now. It goes in. Hodges into the game now for the Cats. Decker back into the lineup as well. So Carter Hodges, I believe this will be his first varsity playing time. And ball goes out of bounds. Last touch, they'll say, by Allen County. Hodges will inbound. And we've got a foul against Allen County. Looks like Turner fouled right. We're going to try the uh, try to put us at the line and see if we can make free throws. Is that, uh, the, is that the goal? We've only shot four of them all night. Decker down the floor to Ashley. Ashley drives, puts it up, won't go. Rebound by Morris for Allen County. He'll take it. Carries the ball, they say, so we'll get it back. Uh, that's a call you don't see very often. No, no. And yeah. I think a lot of players get away with that, too. Yeah, most of them, I was about to say, most of them look like they're carrying the ball at some point anymore. But uh, right with the basketball now for Edmondson County. Round to Hodges. Hodges puts it on the floor. Decker now with a basketball in the lane. 
Goes up with it, can't connect. Ashley with the rebound, he'll put it back up. Tough and rebound by Ashley. Way to hit the boards. 50 to 31, Cats on top, Seltzer for three. No good, rebound by Wright. He'll bring it himself, slow it up, double team now, gets it over to Decker, cross court. Decker puts it on the floor. It rolls out of bounds. He gets some contact there from uh, one of the Allen County Patriots. A couple of substitutions in for the Wildcats. Gravel and Doyle in as Hodges and Decker come out. Allen County with the basketball. Two minutes, 53 seconds left in the ball game. Ross over to Seltzer. Ross gets it back straight away. Over to Moore. He'll try a three left wing. It's good. Wow, they hit one. Now two for 15. 50 to 34. Cat's still in front. And we have a foul on Moore. Allen County had missed their last eight field goal attempts until that made three. That puts Evanston County in the bonus. Braden Wright will go to the line to shoot two. First one's up and rattles out. So Braden could not connect on that first SCRTC free throw attempt. Let's see if he can connect on this second one. Remember all free throws from the Wildcats and Lady Cats this season are brought to you by SCRTC. And the second one goes in. That'll be 51-34, Cats. Ross over to Turner, he'll swing it around to Moore, now over in the corner to Wimpy on the left side. They'll bring it back around the perimeter. Ross ends up with it on the right side. He drives, puts it up high off the glass, no good. Rebound right, and he's tripped up by Ross. Almost lands on the basketball. And looks like Wright will be going back to the line to try a couple more. 17 point lead here for the Wildcats with two minutes and 21 seconds to go. And if everything goes accordingly, Wildcats will earn a win here on their season opener. Lady Cats already won their second game of the season tonight as Wright connects on his first SCRTC free throw attempt. Saying SCRTC free throw attempt can be <laughs> a little bit challenging. Yes, it is. Uh, it's not the easiest thing to do. But not as challenging as Braden Wright knocking both of them down. Right. Wimpy in the left corner, back around to Moore. Moore throws it across court to Ross, and the ball's batted out of bounds by Alexander. It'll come back to Allen County. Like the effort there. 2.09 remaining in the ball game. That's nine points for Braden Wright, by the way. Freshman. Pretty impressed by the young man's performance here tonight. Moore looking now straight away to Ross. Back to Moore in the corner to Tur uh, Turner. Yes, he shoots, no good. Rebound by Decker. Alexander gets it. Down the floor to Decker, and he's fouled. They'll send him to the line. So Josh Decker now will have two free throws attempt. He has nine points on the night as well. He's also got nine rebounds. And so this could put him in double figures here on the SCRTC free throw attempt. There you go. There it is. So 10 points now for Josh Decker. He'll have another 54-34 now. 20-point lead for the Cats. And the second one, he could not make it. Oh, right gets board. the rebound. He puts it up. No good. Rebound by Decker. He'll put it up that. Like Wright's action there, kept that in play. Yes. Ross down at the other end, tries a shot, no good. Rebound by Alexander. Off to Wilson. He chases it down. Bounce pass to Decker. Decker in the lane, puts it up, and in. And the ball goes down the floor to Ross at the other end, puts it up and in. Allen County wants a timeout. And let's see if they're taking a full timeout. They will take a full timeout. I guess they will. So with that, we'll take a break. Two minutes, 17 remains in the ball game. Cats with a healthy lead, 58-36. You're listening to Wildcats Live on Edmondsonvoice.com. 
Patton Funeral Home is a family-operated business that has proudly served Edmondson, Barron, and the surrounding counties since 1969. In our close-knit community, we consider those we serve our neighbors, family, and friends. We're committed to providing affordable excellence to all that place their trust in us. Patton Funeral Home, serving you in three locations, Brownsville, Park City, and now Cave City. Visit PattonFuneralHome.com, continuing a heritage of caring. Welcome back to Wildcats Live on EdmondsonVoice.com. Cats are in control here in Wildcat Alley, 58 to 36. That's what you like to see. Should walk out of here with a win tonight, their first win of the season, we hope anyway, barring some crazy unforeseen <laughs> turn of magical events. Well, we've seen some crazy things. We have, time. we have, that's for sure. Yeah, but it sounds like we got cats winning all over the place tonight, yeah, Jamie. Yeah. Lady cats, wildcats here, and then wildcats Kentucky. Yep. So, if you're a UK so. fan, God bless you. We won't. <laughs> we won't say much more in case some of you That's are still exactly wanting to watch right. that. I, but Doyle with the ball now down the floor to Sanders, who's in the game. Picked off. Allen County with it. Kicks it over to Stamper. Wimpy for three right side. No good. Rebound. Yeah. Doyle had his or, uh, with uh, Sanders. Sanders. Yeah, had the. Had his hands on the ball. We got fouled. So we'll go to the other end and shoot a foul shot or two. SCRTC is happy tonight. We keep talking about them a lot. <laughs> I'll tell you who's not happy. The three-point shooters from Allen County. Or the people without SCRTC. Well, that's exactly right, Jamie. They're not connecting to nobody. That's right. First shot by Sanders is no good. We'll, he'll try one more. Sure, Allen County there, the young fellow on the blocks, giving him some words of encouragement. <laughs> Minute to go in the ball game. 59-36, Cats in front. Moore over to Granger for three. He hits it. Dole over to That's Swihart. Swihart. Now Sanders. Got to get it across the timeline. Yep. Dole down the floor. And that's 10 seconds. Twenty point lead here for the Wildcats. Thirty-eight point three seconds to go. Granger off to Wimpy. He'll try three. No good. Rebound. And uh Swihart tries to bring the ball down with one hand, lands on Granger. Granger will end up going to the going to the line. I got I don't know really. I guess uh, he wasn't shooting. He was. They're going after a rebound, but I guess he'll go to the line. Well, it's a fifth foul. Yeah, right. Now, so it's, it's the five foul bonus. I didn't hadn't noticed that. So, so two shots there for. Uh, count. First one is no good. Thirty-one point seven seconds remaining in the ball game here. Second shot by Granger's up. It, it's in. Ball comes in to Doyle, down the floor to Hodges. Hodges gets it picked, and Meredith gets after the ball. Ends up knocking it out of bounds. I'm, I'm guessing that's a, just out on Edmondson County. Not wasn't a foul call there or anything. Moore inbounds it. Stamper gets it back to Moore. He'll try a deep three on the left side. No good. Rebound. Uh, Basically comes off on the tops of Edmondson County there, and they can't find it. And then uh, Allen County gets it and puts it back in for a close shot. 59-42, Edmondson County in front. And we throw it away again. Stamper with another three, no good. Wimpy puts it back up from close range, no good. Turner from close range, no good. Got a foul down low. I think that's going to be on Hodges. So with .3 seconds left, this is pretty much going to do it here, no matter what happens. But uh, second shot's good. 59-44, I think, or 43. And that should do it. Cats get their first win this season tonight over Allen County's Patriots. You want to stick around? Because we'll be back in a few moments with uh, Coach Tinsley and... The, the wrap up, but uh, stick right here with Edmondson Voice on Wildcats Live.
Me Food Store is proud to be your locally owned hometown grocery. We feature our very own in-house butcher, fresh fruits and vegetables, a fantastic deli with grab-and-go meals and homemade desserts, and if we don't have what you need, just let us know and we'll do our best to get it. We're also happy to carry your groceries out for you. Open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and on Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call 597-2035 and like us on Facebook. CB Food Store. Proud to be your locally owned hometown grocery store. Patton Funeral Home is a family operated business that has proudly served Edmondson, Barron, and the surrounding counties since 1969. In our close knit community, we consider those we serve our neighbors, family, and friends. We're committed to providing affordable excellence to all that place their trust in us. Patton Funeral Home, serving you in three locations Brownsville, Park City, and now Cave City. Visit PattonFuneralHome.com, continuing a heritage of caring. Alford's Pharmacy brings you the latest technology with decades of experience right here in Edmondson County. Locally owned and operated, Alford's provides fast, friendly service with the care that you deserve. Whether you need personalized help, a vaccine, or just a simple refill, call 270-597-1044 or visit AlfordsRx.com for more. Save time, save money, it's that simple at Alford's Pharmacy. game show and we're hoping to have uh, comments from coach Tinsley just in a few moments and uh, first off we'll go ahead down to the uh, post game stats we'll start that tonight's post game stats are brought to you by Jones Grable Tax Service and we're looking at tonight's stats here's Double D. Thank you Jamie unofficial stats of course Josh Decker leads the Wildcats tonight with 14 points and 10 rebounds so a double double for Josh Decker uh, Lane Ashley also finishes with double figures, 10 points, 6 rebounds. Will Alexander, 10 points. Got him down for 13 rebounds. So two Wildcats with double doubles tonight. Very impressive. Uh, Braden Wright, the freshman starter, finishes with 9 points and 5 rebounds. Uh, we've got uh, Wyatt Grable. Finishes with eight points and two rebounds off the bench. Tyler Wilson finishes with seven points and one rebound. Um, I think the biggest difference in the game, Jamie, is the terrible shooting uh, from Allen County. At one point, uh, they were 0 for 7 from the three-point line. Uh, well, they had they'd missed their first seven shots of the second half. They were all three-pointers and uh, only hit, uh, I think, five field goals, six field goals in the entire second half. They were uh, shooting 16 of 52, so that's just barely 30% from the field. You're not going to beat very many teams like that. Turnovers for the Evanston County Wildcats, um, not terrible, but uh, certainly, uh, you know, uh, something that I think Coach, Coach uh, Tinsley is going to want to work on. But 14 turnovers for the Cats, again, not, ter not terrible. But, uh, uh, again, unofficial stats, of course. But, uh, you know, and the other thing that, uh, that said they wanted to do is they wanted to hold the Patriots to 55 points or below. You take a look at the scoreboard, you can see one of those things uh, that they checked off the box. So a lot of boxes checked off tonight, and I think it's uh, one, of the, several, one of the several reasons. Uh, there are several reasons, of course, that the Wildcats won tonight. And now it's time for Coach's Comments on the CB Food Store, sponsored by Sailors Golf Carts in Smith's Grove. Join us now is head coach Trey Tinsley. Coach, congratulations on your first win. And, uh, yeah, shake your hand on yeah, that first, pretty good. first career win. It. Kids so, played hard. So, Coach, you got, uh, according to us, we got uh, three guys in double figures, got another guy with nine, got another guy with eight. And uh, that's, uh, that's pretty impressive, especially for a lot of these guys that Wildcat fans are not used to seeing. So uh, tell us what you thought, uh, first off. I thought we, our drivers hit, hit us a little bit the first half. But when we settled into the second half, we really took off there. We've been taking a lot of pride in our defense and rebound. We got still ways to go on that. But the first night out, I was I was pleased with our guys. I, I love how hard they're working. The other everything else will clean up. So uh, you know you wanted to keep a, a ten turnovers uh, or under, um, fourteen turnovers, not terrible. But uh, again, as you said, you know first game of the season, 
lot, big crowd here. And, uh, you know, I, I'm looking down at these kids. I'm, this is probably some of the first varsity playing time a lot of them have ever seen, period. Yes. Will's the only, you know, player that played any. I mean, I know he's a starter, but anybody that played last year, like, all these guys are young. And, you know, I was really impressed that they were looking out and they were being aggressive. It just took them a half to get it. You know, under their belts. In the second half, I really was pr proud of the guys. I just told them at halftime, I said, you, steep, you keep on getting good looks, keep shooting that thing. You know, we, we have that type of confidence in them, and they have that confidence in themselves. Just, you know, it's a, it's a different crowd. It's a different uh, atmosphere, and I, I thought their kids handled it really well. Kids crashed the boards really well uh, tonight, uh, out-rebounded in Allen County, Scottsville. That's one of the things you wanted to do. And uh, uh, kids looked uh, – really aggressive at times going to the rim. And uh, at the half, we talked about maybe some of the things that the Wildcats could improve on, and they had a four-point lead at the half. But one of the things I said was maybe just executing some shots right around the rim. They missed some of those in the mm -hmm. first half, and, uh, boy, they did. They, uh, they were pretty aggressive at times. And, uh, again, sharing of the scoring. Right. We were talking about this at the halftime, we need to get the ball down low, then get it back out. I thought we were selling some for the first half. But the second half, we're getting the ball in more. But the thing we'll have to work on, we'll have to work on our press offense. But you know, this is the first time they've, this is the first time they've really yeah. ever played varsity basketball. With a lot of them, you know, instead of the scrimmages. So I, I was really proud of where we're at right now, and we're going to continue to get better and better. So uh, something a little bit off the subject of basketball, coach. Uh, uh, we had some comments tonight. Uh, people. Uh, uh, admiring your guys' dress tonight. You oh, know, they yeah, got the yeah. neckties going. That's something you don't see a lot these days. Is this something we can expect to see throughout the season? Well, <laughs> my coach is like, how many times we got to do this this year? <laughs> I was like, well, the district home games for sure. And, you know, we'll see about homecoming night. But I thought, you know, our pep section were professional nights. Nice. Like, you know what, guys, it's first time coming out. I think we need to put something – professional nice. out for Ebbs I think County. it looks good. I think yeah. that's great. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I'm a little, I feel underdressed tonight, you know, with the, with the sweatshirt. I still like that EC on yeah, there. Yeah. yeah. He's well, still we're, repping. We're going we're gonna to represent EC no matter what uh, in some form or fashion. But as we said, Coach, uh, your first uh, uh, varsity win as a head coach, that's a big deal, man. And uh, I know, uh, I know no matter who the opponent was, uh, you, you were, you probably didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess. You know what? I, I actually slept pretty well. Good, good. I, the reason because of that, you know, I, I think a lot of people, it's like your nerves and everything. I thought our kids were prepared. So, good. you know, you know, if that was the next night, like the next night I would worry more about us than I would tonight because we had a week prepared for Allen County. Yeah. So we're excited and we'll be off to Fort Knox Friday. Well, good luck, Fort Knox, uh, on Friday. Coach, we'll actually catch up with you back on Saturday at the throwback game. Thanks. So uh, I know you got some uh, you got some work to do between now and then, but we'll catch up with you then. And then once again, congratulations right, on your you. first win, thank buddy. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you Yes, sir. Coach Trey Tinsley, uh, appreciate you stopping by, buddy. And, uh, again, always appreciate our coaches stopping by and, and talking to us. And, uh you know, they don't have to do that, but they, they give us our their time uh, pretty much uh, every single game, and they answer our texts and our phone calls, and uh, great relationship that uh, those guys have always had with the Edmondson boys. We appreciate that very much. And, again, this is the CB Food Store Post Game Show. Uh, did you get through the stats as far as you wanted to go, Darren? Yeah, I did. Uh, we pretty much covered everything. Again, like we said, unofficial stats, of course, but, uh, uh, yeah, pretty much – Pretty much got through them all. Okay. Tonight's Player of the Game is brought to you by Walden's Barbecue, located in the Main Street Center. How about Player of the Game? Man, it's tough. I mean, you know, you've got two guys with double-doubles. you got Will Alexander with 10 points and 13 rebounds. you got Josh Decker with 14 points and 10 rebounds. But, um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with a new guy tonight. Will Alexander, we've heard his name a lot over the past – a couple years, and you're going to hear it a lot. And I think you're going to hear a lot of names, really. But uh, I don't think we've ever given the player of the game to Josh Decker. So for a first time, uh, if I'm not mistaken, congratulations, Josh. 14 points, 10 rebounds. Unofficial, of course. I'm sure I've got something screwed up on the stats. So don't yell at me, folks, if you've got uh, – if uh, once we finally do the article and get the pictures published and everything, uh, don't yell at me if I've got them wrong. 14 points, 10 points, 14 points, and 10 rebounds. Josh Decker, congratulations. You're the Walden's Barbecue Player of the Game. And that's going to do it from Wildcat Alley tonight as uh, the Cats beat the Patriots here in, at home. 
Uh, 59 to 43, good win for the Cats there on their first uh, game of the season, official first official game of the season. Be sure and join us Saturday, December 2nd. That's this coming Saturday. Lady Cats and Wildcats take on Cumberland County in Wildcat Hall. Now, that's the former uh, high school gym, what's now a part of the Edmondson County 5-6 Center. Former high school, former middle school. Yes, <laughs> former, well, former a lot of things right. there. But uh, back in the 70s, that building was brand new. and It was it a was, hopping place. It man. was a, a place to be if you wanted to watch some basketball because they had some barn burners in that place. Yeah, buddy. And uh, some great, great teams played there. So uh, be sure and join us uh, 3 p.m. Tip off of the first game of the girl-boy doubleheader there Saturday, December 2nd. Join us for that. And until then, good night, Wildcat fans. For Double D, I'm Jamie Carnes. This has been another Edmondson Voice production of Wildcats Live, presented by Alfred's Pharmacy only on the Edmondson Voice. You're listening to Wildcats Live on Edmondson County's number one source for local news and information, edmondsonvoice.com.